Hi, this is Bill Hurd, and this is a simple tutorial on some of Wings 3D's UV mapping features. Uh, I'll be focusing on unfolding, which is the method I use most often. And for this, I'll use a model of a patrol cap. And the reason why I've selected it is because it's uh, free on my website. You can download it and follow along if you like. It's simple enough that I think it'll make the tutorial go quickly, and it has a couple troubled areas that can show you some of the things that could possibly go wrong and some ways to uh, work around it. So I'm going to go ahead and load that up. I'm going to go to File, Import, Wavefront Object. If you downloaded the one from my website, you'll notice that it has poses and morphs and textures and all those things. But what we're concerned here was with the original geometry. And it is located under Runtime, Geometries, Age of Armor, Military, Patrol Cap. You'll notice that it's way up in the air. And that's because uh, this is meant to fit uh, M4, one of the DAZ figures. Uh, so I will just go ahead and select the whole object and go to view, align to selection, and that will center the camera's pivot point right on the hat. One of the things to point out about Wings 3D is that it does not do hollow geometry. Everything has to have a volume to it. This cap doesn't. When you import this in order for Wings to handle it, it automatically throws a single polygon in that hole. When you export it back out, it won't be included, so there's no need to have it UV mapped. The other thing about this model is that it's actually made out of five different parts. Uh, while it looks like one object, and it shows up as one object in the geometry graph, there are five separate meshes. And I'm going to go ahead and split those apart, because I personally find that the easiest way to work. Right click on the screen, and you'll see a menu pops up, and it says separate. I'm going to click on that, and now it's broken it into the five different parts. Uh, we've got the top cap, the badge, the bill, and the two cat eyes. This way, I can hide some of these things, which I'm going to do at this time. I'll hide everything but the top cap and map that first. Because there's no need to map the hole, but I want to make sure that I select all polygons that aren't a hole, I select the hole, right click, select, and then hit Shift Control I to select inverse. And now that those faces are selected, I can right click. And down at the bottom of the pop-up menu, you'll see that it has UV mapping. If you left click that, it'll bring up a window showing the UV mapping I've already done on this model. But to show how this works, we'll remap it. To remap, you right click, go down to UV mapping, and right click that again. And it pops up with a new window. And again, the cap's way up in the air, so I'll go to view. Align to selection. Now when I do things that are made out of cloth, I like to split the UV seams where the cloth seams are. In the case of this cap, this is uh, gets a camouflage pattern. And this band and this top piece are made out of two different pieces of fabric. So the camouflage pattern wouldn't blend between these two. So I want to split them there. And to do that, I'm going to go into edge mode up here at the top and select a single edge right along where I want it to split. Now, I could continue to select all the edges all the way around to mark those, or I can just hit L, which will select the entire loop. Then right click, and you'll see Mark Edges for Cut. And go ahead and do that. When you hit Spacebar, it deselects everything in the scene. So I'm going to go ahead and deselect and move on to my next seam. On the original real life patrol cap, there's also a seam running around the top. So I'm going to select one edge and hit L. Then right click and mark edges for cut. Now there's also a seam going all the way up the back here between these two pieces. And one thing you can do there is select one edge and hit L. But that splits seams, makes the seam all the way across the top. And I could deselect all those, but it's kind of a pain. So one way that makes it a little bit easier is just to select one edge right in the center, and hit Alt-L. And this will make that loop grow. And I'll just expand it until it reaches that top seam. And mark edges for cut. Now the same thing on the front, except for this edge doesn't have a cut. There is no seam here on the original. So I'm going to individually select these edges. And mark those for cut. And I believe that's everything that's on the, uh, the original hat. So then right click in the scene and go to Continue, Unfolding. And Wings will think for a moment and pop up with a new window. 
Now I'm going to move this one, the 3D view, over a little bit to make it a little bit easier to see. So we've got the, uh, the 3D geometry window in here, and we've got the UV window. And you'll notice that some pieces turned out a little bit better than others. Uh, this top doesn't look too bad. I'm just going to right click and rotate it a little bit. Other than just being slightly askew, it looks pretty good. And I'll move it up out of the way. You can move things off of the, the main graph there if you'd like. Uh, these pieces are the side pieces, and they're not really acceptable, but, but you can make them out. Now this one just looks like crap, and I don't know exactly why this happens, but it's, uh, it happens in Wings and a few other applications that I've got. For some reason, every once in a while, something that you would think would be really simple to unfold just gets to become a tangled mess like tangled string or tangled cords, sometimes the easiest way to straighten it out is just to cut it apart into smaller pieces. And one thing I'll do is I'll cut it right up the middle. Even though I said there wasn't a seam there, we can cut it for now, try to unfold it again, and if it looks good, I'll stitch it back together. I can select one edge and hit L for loop, but you again, you notice that it goes all the way across and it'll split our you, uh, a previously good UV map top. Instead, what you can do is make sure that you're in edge mode in the top on both windows. Select the edge here, then hover your mouse over the UV window and hit L. Now it won't go beyond the bounds of that UV mapped region. Now right click in the UV map window and select cut. That makes that piece two separate objects or two separate UV mapped regions. I'm going to go ahead and select both of them, then right click and remap UV and pick unfold. And that looks a lot better. Uh, they're still a little bit messed up, but they're identifiable. So I'm going to rotate this and just align it a little bit better so I can make some sense of it. That's the bottom there. And then I'll stitch them back together. Selecting L in the uh, along the UV edges doesn't work after they've been cut so I have to manually select each one of the edges just on one side and then click stitch and it'll stitch it back to the previous one. Now you notice this is a lot better it's still not all that good but it's you can make out the pattern in it but the original piece of fabric that this cap is sewn out of I'm pretty sure is is fairly flat it shouldn't have this much distortion in it. So one way to fix that is to go ahead and go back over to the, the UV window here and go into edge mode and then I'm going to select just one horizontal edge and hit L to select the loop and then G which selects all the parallel loops. And then I'm going to scale those vertically and that lines that up nice and neat. It's hard to guess with the mouse movement exactly where flat is, so one thing you can do is hit tab, and that opens up a dialog where you can type in a value. In this case, I'm going to make it 0%, which should make it completely flat. And you can see over here in the 3D window, that's looking a whole lot better, but it still has some distortion because of the vertical edges. So I'm going to do the same thing by selecting one vertical edge, hitting L, then G, right click, scale, horizontal. Hit tab, zero, enter, and now you notice that there's this real nice even lattice work and it looks real good on the object. Okay, so that piece is looking pretty good and I'll move it up and out of the way, but now we've got this, these other pieces and they, um, they still don't look all that great. Sometimes cutting them apart makes them better, sometimes stitching them together and making them a larger object works better. Again, it's kind of trial and error. So I personally think this one's probably going to look better if I stitch it back together and remap it as one object. So I'll go ahead and select the edges here and right click and go to stitch. In object mode I'm going to go ahead and hit remap UV unfold and it did. This is again one of those things that's kind of odd. Sometimes it works to cut it apart, sometimes it works to stitch it together. Anyways, I'll rotate it so that it's fairly level, and let's see how it looks.